Okay, so find sine theta and cosine theta if tan of theta is equal to 5 and cosine theta is greater than 0. So using trigonometric identity. So that's what we're going to do here. First, I'm going to start with this. Uh, I was going to say seldom used as a Pythagorean identity that I don't use that often, but it's a good Pythagorean theorem, and I'll show you why I'm going to use it in just a second. I'm going to use secant squared theta is equal to tan squared theta plus 1. And if you're wondering why I'm going to do that, well, one reason I'm going to do it is because they gave me tan theta. And the second thing is that they asked me to find cosine theta, and cosine theta is 1 over secant squared theta, right? Just using these identities. If you're sitting here with me right now, you're going, what the hell is he talking about? You need to go back, please, and think about your your trigonometric identities. There are about eight of them that are really, really important. And I would write them down and use them as I did my work. This stuff starts to come to you as a second language, but first you have to kind of have the vocabulary in front of you. Sorry. So here I'm going to just do a little fill in the blank here. I'm going to say secant squared theta is equal to, well, tan squared. Well, tan is 5, so tan is 5 says that we have to square that, so we're going to square it plus 1. So we have secant squared theta is equal to 25 plus 1, otherwise known as 26. Take the square root of both sides, and we get that secant theta is equal to plus or minus square root of 26. What we know here is that Secant is 1 over cosine, isn't it? 1 over cosine theta is equal to plus or minus square root of 26. If we solve that out, we get cosine theta. Right? We get cosine theta is the same as 1 over that. Go back and check our rule. And our rule, the uh, directions that we got from our writer here says that cosine of theta is greater than zero in this case. So we don't need this plus or minus crap anymore. It's positive, right? Because it's greater than zero. So there we have our cosine. That was a little bit tedious, but here we're asked here to find cosine and we actually did that. And here's our cosine value. Using that, we can get a little bit farther. We know, let me break this up a little bit more. So I'll just do my work if you don't mind on the other side here. Not do it in blue or something. Now I'm going to start sol solving for sine theta, and all I'm going to do is this. I'm going to take the fact that I know that tan of theta is equal to 5. So think about this. Tan theta is the same as sine theta over cosine theta, isn't it? Right? That's the tan identity there, right? It's equal to 5. So I'm just going to take that. So you know what? Sine theta over cosine theta, which is which is tan theta, is same as is equal to five, isn't it? I'm gonna multiply this whole damn thing by cosine theta. I'm gonna multiply it here and here. That will give us sine theta is equal to five times cosine theta. And you're like Charlie, where are you going anywhere with this? I am going somewhere with this because dun 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 I know what cosine theta is. So I can go back and say that sine theta is equal to 5 times 1 over the square root of 26, which we can all agree that sine theta now is equal to 5 over the square root of 26. I hope this is helpful. It's really a pain. Uh, I'm, this is something I kind of enjoy, but I, I get that it's a pain. I have to give you the secret, and, and there are two of them. First secret is memorize all of the uh, trigonometric identities, the, they're called the fundamental identities. Memorize those, and until you have them memorized, keep them on a, on a flashcard or something. Keep them near you. And the second secret is, as stupid as it may sound, is that the more of this that you do, the better you get at it. And at some point, it's just start, you start to see it. And, and uh, if you're sitting there going, oh, I'm not great at math, maybe I, I'll never be able to see it. You can, you'll be able to see it. Okay, you guys, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, and your comments are always welcome. Thanks for the support.